guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these like crafty chatty vlog things. Um, but I needed a video for next Sunday and I am working very hard on this knitting project. And oh, I wanted to tell you a story about how everything went to heck last night. I mean, it was fine, but um, and I didn't lose any stitches or any sleep, fortunately. But um, this is why project planning is so valuable to me. So uh, this this pattern I will link below. It's just a free pattern from uh, Lion, I think. It's a baby blanket. I'm making a baby blanket. I started working on this like right after I got my positive pregnancy test. Um, and then you know how things do. I um, I let it sit for too long and uh, man, I just messed up. I let it sit for too long and got behind on like you know doing other things. So uh, it's now like two months out from the due date and I'm realizing I have quite a ways to go. So I really need to start working on this if I want it done before the baby gets here. So I. Uh, I figured out like exactly how much work it was going to be because it starts at like a point and then increases out and then back again. So I wanted it to be about a yard long on each like square um, and I couldn't figure out how many rows that was going to be or how many stitches that was going to be because I can't just say let's do you know five rows a day because each row is longer than the row in, uh, before it. And then for the second half, shorter than the row before it, right? So I, I wanted to like count everything and figure out how much I needed to do. So I did that and then for like a week I was like, this is great, I'm getting ahead of schedule. I'm, you know, doing the, the three or four rows every day that I needed to do. And uh, I was like, this is great. I, I realized last night I was two rows away from the middle point. Um, and then I decided to actually measure it. And it's a good thing I did because I was like, this doesn't seem long enough that I thought it was going to be like a yard, like I said, on each side. Um, and so I measured it and turns out that, yeah, I miscalculated. I thought it was going to be like 40 inches each side, which is fine. Um, turns out I uh, was measuring two different sides in that calculation instead of just one. So uh, it was actually half of that. So it was only like 20 inches. So I needed to go through and like add extra repeats because I wasn't doing it to like a gauge. I was just like, whatever, it's a blanket. I'll just add more rows if I need to. So I added, had to add like two more repeats of this whole pattern. You can see there's a garter section and then the lace section. So I'd add two more garter sections and two more lace sections in order for it to be big enough. And that suddenly means I thought I was like more than 40% through. Turns out I was only 20% through the project. And, uh, well, yeah, so I sat down with my spreadsheet and I recalculated how big it was going to be and, um, how many rows I needed to get done each day. And I'm like, this is a Sunday, so I've had the opportunity to do quite a lot of work on it today already, but I am on schedule according to the new schedule. So that's something, but, um, it's more work than I thought it was going to be. And I was super bummed last night when I realized that. So, yeah, this is, I guess, this is why you go off a gauge so that you know <laughs> how many rows you're actually going to need. Oh, dear. So I'm working on the, uh, the complicated lace row during this video, which is probably not the best idea. I should have come to you during one of these boring garter rows <laughs> when I can just knit without paying attention. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, today, as this goes out, let me check. I've been filming so many videos um, <laughs> ahead of time, which you will see when I'm on maternity leave. And I've mentioned that I'm gonna try to get ahead so that you have stuff to watch while I'm gone. Um, but this video is gonna go out on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to you guys. It's my first Mother's Day. I always had this little little dream in the back of my head that it'd be nice, it'd be nice to be like visibly pregnant on my first Mother's Day. Cause I always think that's kind of cool when someone gets to, you know, uh, celebrate Mother's Day before the baby comes. Not just because you don't have to, oh, you know. It's, uh, I, it's important that we recognize that pregnant women are mothers too. Alright, so happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I'm, um, it's, it's going to be a busy weekend for me. As you're watching this, yesterday was, um, 
our baby shower and tomorrow is our wedding anniversary so exciting stuff i think we're gonna go out to dinner uh to celebrate sort of all that jointly and uh yeah it's good and in the meantime i hope that by the time this video goes out i haven't fallen farther behind in my knitting project um yeah that's about it for today thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe because that makes my day also comments are the best thing and comments are the best thing and subscriptions are the second best thing no they're both the best thing i will see you guys in my video on tuesday have a good one bye Thank you.